biscuits, fancy some milk and cookies. Oh, I do love it at bedtime. Start with a circle for the cookie. And a smiley face. Rosy cheeks. And of course, don't forget the chocolate chips. Or are they raisins or Smarties? What do you want on your cookie? It's all up to you. Little arms and legs. And next to it, a glass of milk. Yummy milk, good for the bones, you know. Smiley face there too. And some hands and legs. And did you know that cookies and milk are best friends? So they're holding hands. Ah, darkening up the border to make our colours stand out. Ready to paint. Okay, let's go for brown for our cookie because our cookie is a chocolate cookie. Yummy, yummy. What's your favourite cookie? Do you like chocolate chip? Do you like Nutella cookies? How about vanilla cookies? Have you even tried fudge caramel cookies? Or mint choc chip? Even better. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Right, darker brown for our chips and the hands and feet. Lovely. Bit of dark chocolate. Never did anyone any harm. Same for the glass of milk, hand and feet. Now we're going for peachy cheeks. On to blue to represent our glass. So the outer part is all going to be blue. Carefully going down the sides of our milk. And then we're going for a very pale silver colour, which is almost white to represent our milk. Carefully going around the facial features, eyes and cheeks. With a small paintbrush, that will do the job. And we're done. Some peachy cheeks there too. And there you have it. Cookies and milk. Oh, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Hey kids, how are you doing today? Fancy a nice hot chocolate with marshmallows? <gasps> Me too. Let's start by drawing the face of the cup. The handle. The saucer. Now little bows which are going to go on our marshmallows. Two of those. Let's give them faces too. The rest of the cup. Some eyelashes. Ah, gotta have those eyelashes, you know. Darkening up the border, as usual, because we want to make the colour stand out when we paint it. Brilliant! Starting with yellow and pink for our marshmallow bow. Then we're going for a silvery white colour to paint our marshmallows. There! Back to the yellow for the rim of our teacup. And the main part too. Carefully painting around the eyes, the cheeks and the mouth. Side to side, small paintbrush head so that you don't go over the black lines. Brilliant, brown now for the inside, that's our hot chocolate. Ooh, yummy. Going for red for the handle and the tongue. How about a pink mouth and dark pink cheeks, pink on the outside of our saucer, blue on the inside. And red. There you have it. Perfect. A lovely cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows. Yum. Hey kids, guess what? We're going to be showing you how to draw and colour in a burger and fries. That's right. Favourite meal of the day. I do like a good burger. So we start with the bun. It's sort of a semicircle shape. And now for the filling. We're starting with some... You guessed it, lettuce. So, let us draw. What should we do next? I know, some tomatoes. So you can draw all your favorite fillings, whatever you like. A nice slice of cheese. How about two? And the burger. This looks like a whopper. And now we're adding some more salad. And 
the bottom half of the burger bun. On the right side of the burger, we're making a can of soda. With a straw. And on the left side, a packet of fries. Just some long rectangular shapes, thin ones of course for our fries. Layering them like so. You can sort of crisscross them over if you want. Have fun with this. There we go. Last one. Let's put some sesame seeds on our burger bun. And thicken up the border. Getting it ready to colour in. Just going around the outside of everything. There we go, starting with orange for our bun. Carefully going around those sesame seeds. Do you love going to McDonald's or Burger King? Me too. Not very healthy though, is it? Perhaps you could try making your own burger at home. Yes, that's right. It's a great idea. And you don't even have to use meat. You can use chickpeas in a blender or any kind of vegetables that you like, really. So with your drawing, you could be super creative and make your burger to your own liking. But whatever fillings you like in it, any sauces, salad or no salad, whatever you prefer, we want to be a little bit healthy. So here goes our green lettuce. The thin tip of our pen makes it easy to colour in those shapes. Some red for our tomatoes. Look at the contrast of those colours. Some yellow for our cheese. This is making me hungry. There we go. Brown for our burger because it's going to be a meat burger. That's right, a beef burger. More green for the rest of our lettuce. This is shaping up nicely. Excellent. Back to the orange for the bottom half of our burger bun. Lovely. There you go, good enough to eat. Let's go for our fries, which are going to be yellow. Of course, if you wanted to be a little bit different, you could do sweet potato fries. They could be orange or white, different variety. You could even mix and match a few normal fries, a few sweet potato fries. How about multicolored rainbow fries? That would be fun, wouldn't it? There you go. I do think the plain yellow colour and then the red colour of the packet look really good against the burger because the burger's got lots of colours going on already, hasn't it? A yellow straw for our can of drink. Red for the can to match our packet of fries. There we go. Yellow for the curvy line. Blue for the rim. And we're done. Brilliant. Hey kids, fancy a cuppa? 
Ooh, looks lovely to me. Let's draw. We're going to do a lovely teacup with a heart in the middle. Doing the outside of the cup and the handle and the saucer now. Inside and outside rings. Brilliant. Teapot lid. The main body. Let's do the handle. And the spout. And the bottom. And some heart details in the middle to match our heart on the teacup. Oh, Don't they look just like the teapot and the teacup from Beauty and the Beast? Do you remember? Mrs Potts, the teapot, and Chip, her son, was the teacup. Oh, but Chip had a little chip inside. OK, going for brown for the inside of our teacup. Could be hot chocolate if you'd prefer. Red for the handle and the heart. And yellow for the main part. Lovely. How about pink for the inside of the saucer? Yes. And what colour should we do the outside? How about blue? Oh, that does look lovely, doesn't it? Now for the teapot. Yellow for the lid. Lovely. Matches the teacup, you know. And blue. That matches the outside of the saucer. Yes. And how about some pink? Brilliant! I love this matching set! Carefully painting around your love hearts. Almost there! And done! Let's go for yellow for the hearts! Oh, lovely! And green for the spout! Why not? Fantastic! And the handle too! And we're done! There you have it! Go on! Have a cup of tea. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. Hey kids, today we're gonna draw a pizza. So just draw a circular outline, but don't go all the way because we're gonna cut out a slice. Do a V, another one above that. And come round to finish your slice. And a double border because we like a nice thick crust on our pizza. Let's do some pepperoni. What's your favourite pizza topping? Maybe it's vegan pepperoni. Let's do some olives, black olives. Or do you prefer green? Maybe you'd like some jalapenos if you like it, huh? Some mushrooms! You know what else goes great on pizza? Peppers! I love them! Green, red, yellow and orange, all delicious! Right, time to shade the border in. Gonna make it a thick black border. Ready to paint! Starting with the crust, it's going to be orange because it's lovely and golden from being baked in that stone oven. Ooh, all this pizza drawing and painting is making me hungry. That does look crispy, doesn't it? That's it, keep going, you're almost there. Brilliant, let's just do the edge of the slice now. Ooh, yummy. Right, what's next? How about the cheese? We're going to do it yellow, the traditional colour of cheese. Ours is mozzarella and cheddar mixed with gorgonzola. Maybe a little parmesan sprinkled on top. Do you like sprinkling parmesan on your pizza? Sounds strange, doesn't it? 
to add more cheese on top of cheese. But I tell you, it's fantastic. So this is the part where we really have to take care because whilst we're painting the cheese yellow, we got to paint carefully around all of our toppings. Circular shapes for our pepperoni. Then the oval shapes and rectangular shapes for our mushrooms. Small circles for our olives. So we're using a small thin tipped paintbrush for this. And if you have the option, you can always change up the paintbrush. Use the small one to go around the detailed areas where you don't want to go over the border, you know, over your toppings. And then use a bigger, thicker brush to cover more surface area more quickly when you are away from the danger zones. Keep going, you're doing really well. That's it, around your olive. Nearly there. This is the hard part done, nearly. And you're done. Brilliant job, well done. Let's do the pepperoni. A dark, reddy, pinky color. And if you don't want pepperoni, they could be tomatoes. Perhaps that orange of the crust is our tomato sauce squelching out the sides. Mmm, yummy. One more. Brilliant. Now for the mushrooms. They're going to be grey. You could use any type of mushroom. Chestnut, portobello. Or just plain old simple mushrooms. And there you have it. A wonderful pizza. Now let's add that parmesan. A few splodges here and there. Shake, shake, shake. On our slice. And voila! You've done it. A pizza! Great job! Hey, today we're going to learn how to draw and colour a nice big hunk of cheese. Starting by drawing a parallelogram and then triangle at the top few chunks out the side and some holes in it of course we like a bit of holy cheese so tell me what's your favorite type how about gouda mozzarella feta edam gorgonzola we're just going to darken up the border there to make it bold using yellow paint and a small paintbrush we're painting in between the thick black outer border no need to go around your circles where you've marked out your holes because those are going to be indents in the cheese. They're not hollow, so that's fine. We can just paint over those too. So it's nice and easy. You can use a big paintbrush if you wish. Whatever you find easier. This watercolour style painting is a really nice way to make realistic pictures. Not too difficult, quite easy to do, a little attention to detail. Did you know that over 1,000 types of cheese exist in the world today? Currently produced in various countries, their styles, textures, flavours depend on the origin of the milk, including the animal's diet, whether they've been pasteurised, the butterfat content, the bacteria, mould, you know, have you ever had blue cheese? How long they've been aged for, maybe they have herbs or spices, or they're wood smoked. From yellow to red, you can have all different colours too. So we're doing a darker yellow for the side piece to create a bit of dimension there in our picture. 
It's a nice little trick you can do for shadows and stuff like that as well. So you get the same colour, we're using yellow of course, but you do different shades of the same colour. Now if you don't have loads of different shades of paint to play with, you can just take one colour and use white if you want to make it paler, mix a bit of that colour with white in a separate pot or use a little bit of orange. We've got orange here, we can mix a little bit of orange in with our yellow in a separate pot to make the darker colour. So it's very easy to do. And if you want to go away from that traditional picture, you can do a multicoloured cheese. How about blue cheese? What's your favourite colour? Maybe a sparkly cheese? That would be cool. I'm not sure I'd want to eat it though. Cheese is valued for portability, long life and high content of fat, protein, calcium and phosphorus. They can be made from cow or goat's milk, sheep's milk. You can even get non-dairy varieties these days for those of you with intolerances and allergies. So by using this lighter and darker shading and drawing the top triangle shape with the bottom rectangle shape, you create a kind of 3D effect. It's a very clever way of drawing. Otherwise you'd only be showing the cheese from the top. So we're just using the darker yellow colour to paint in our holes on the top to give again a bit of dimension so you can see it's a bit of a dip. A few bits here and there. Finishing touches. So one colour and several different shades. There's a little bit of orangey yellow going on there, just around the inside of our holes along the edge. Very, very small attention to detail. It does make such a difference when you don't want to do anything that's a bit wham-bam in your face, but you want it to look kind of realistic. Well done, you have done a fantastic job. Let's take a picture. Say cheese. Hi friends, today we're going to learn how to draw a cute cupcake starting with a cherry on top, a top layer of icing and then layer some more icing underneath that, a few wavy lines, every layer slightly different and then we do the cake underneath it. Brilliant! Hey, let's do a face! Two shiny eyes. couple of little eyebrows and a smile. Ah, right. Now we're going to thicken up the border to make a nice thick black outline. And time to paint. Ooh, which color shall we do first? Let's do the cherry first. A nice spot of red. I love cherries. They're my favorite. Do you like the fresh ones or do you like those sweet ones? I like fresh cherries. Perfect, now let's do yellow for our top layer of buttercream icing. I think we'll make this a nice rainbow covered cupcake. Let's do blue. This could be blueberry flavored. Imagine if your buttercream icing was all different flavors. Wouldn't that be tantalising on your taste buds? Now let's go for green. This could be minty flavoured. So you can use a separate paintbrush for each of these colours or simply dip the same paintbrush in clean water each time to wash off the previous colour. And purple, my favourite. Hey, this could be plum flavour. Or maybe even blackberry. What do you think? Now our last layer of buttercream icing could be yellow again. Yeah, yellow at the bottom and yellow at the top. Wow, it's like a rainbow buttercream icing sandwich. Vanilla, I think. Or maybe lemon. Time to colour in the cake. Orange. Paint 
squinting around those eyes. Those big cute eyes. We can even mix a bit of yellow in with the orange to make it slightly more peachy. Keep going, you're doing great! Almost there! And just the last bit. Done! And there you have it, a gorgeous rainbow cupcake! Good job! Hey kids, guess what? We're going to draw a dinosaur today! That's right! Ooh, let's start with the eyes! Two small circles, two little arch eyebrows, a gorgeous bobbly hat! Now for the main body! And the legs and the neck! Feet, tummy... There! The detail! That's right! Good job! And some stripes on the hat. Rosy cheeks, smiley mouth, nostrils. And you can't have a party without balloons because I think it's this dino's birthday today. Fantastic! There! A little bit of flowery detail. Wow, what would you like to put on your dinosaur? Maybe some hearts? Maybe some stars? Right, let's paint. Gold first. For the bubble on our hat. And now we're going to do the stripes. Multicoloured, of course. I do love his party hat. Red tongue. Turquoise for the last stripe. Now let's go for some pink rosy cheeks. flowers. There. Green next for the main body. Do you know much about dinosaurs? Can you think of any dinosaur names? How about T-Rex? How about Stegosaurus? Brachiosaurus? Can you think of any others? Pterodactyl? There were flying dinosaurs, swimming dinosaurs, walking dinosaurs, meat-eating dinosaurs, leaf-eating dinosaurs, just so many different types. There. Gold tummy. And brown toes. We'll do yellow for the centre of our flowers. Right, time to colour our balloons! Starting with red! Ooh, lovely! And yellow! Hmm, what colour should we do our third balloon? How about purple? What a great colour! And done! And turquoise just for the finishing touches! Voila! You have one beautiful, party-tastic baby dinosaur! Ah! 